Hey guys, I promised you a dishy update. Dishy, dishy McFlatface. It's fascinating that these things actually have names and no, we're not crazy, just the inventors are. This thing needs no geek out of you at all. You download an app, you get your dishy, you plug black cable into black side, white cable into white side, White cable then goes to your fancy little Wi-Fi router. You hit connect. It does this thing for like 20 minutes as it downloads updates and you're on internet. For those of you that don't understand how a speed test work, a speed test only shows you available bandwidth at that moment. So if you're streaming TV, downloading games, downloading something else, watching other videos, Every single piece of equipment on your house is currently using internet. So when you run a speed test, it will only show you available bandwidth. So if you have a 200 meg circuit and you're using 150 meg of it, your speed test is going to be math 50 meg. So keep that in mind. Dishy comes in, that's its coil, and it goes into this lovely little converter. This setup can't be any easier. Black wire goes to the black side and it comes with a white wire which goes to the white side. Um, our area is a little nuts in that this is going into a barn. Which, geek alert. Really geek alert. That purple cable goes all the way to the other side of the workshop. Gets the media converted over to fiber. Fiber goes to the house. House then media converts it back to electrical. For those of you that were curious, I'm not kidding. This workshop is connected via fiber to our house, so that's what we're doing. All right, this right here, this little guy, and that little light says that we're connected. That's the only indicator light you have on here. But remember how I told you the white cable gets plugged in? There you go, there's your white cable that's gonna come from that other box. Um, it does have another port for an accessory if you wanna plug in a router get more plug-in options but this is a wireless unit and let's go run some speed tests on it we're going to take a look at the satellite map for starlink and zoom into my location as you can see we are happily covered right now And now the satellites have moved to a spot where it appears that we have no coverage at all. Right now, there are no caps, bandwidth, um, QoSing, nothing. This sucker is as clean as it comes, which makes it great if you need to upload big files right now. I can care less about download. It's that upload that I want, and this thing is amazing. So, um, go Starlink.